My name is Thomas Lewis and today I'm going to talk to you about Cisco Intersight and how we can leverage Intersight to attach, manage, and support all of our different UCS compute across our entire organization. UCS is a fantastic technology, but it's also got a lot of different pieces. We have our C-series servers, which are our rack mount servers, going to blades, which are attached to our fabric interconnects, and we're even leveraging hyperconverged solutions with our Cisco Hyperflex. Managing all of these different types of compute platforms can be a challenge. Until now, with Cisco Intersight, we're leveraging the goodness of the cloud to bring you the ability to attach all of your different compute workloads that are UCS to one single pane of glass that's easy to manage, easy to scale, and easy to support. So let's take a look. So right here is the dashboard, and this is what we see when we first log in. This is all completely customizable, but right here we have pre-canned uh, server summary. So the first column is going to be around my C-series, and we can see the different types of nodes that we have, any type of issues that may go on, along with my Hyperflux clusters and the inventory there, followed by my fabric interconnects, where I can see the FIs, the different pipe type of ports that are being used. I can also customize dashboards to something that's catered towards me or other different users that are logged on through role-based access. By clicking on this plus sign, I could create something for, let's say, HCL or uh, hardware compatibility. So I can rename this dashboard to something else like HCL. And then I can add or customize widgets that make sense for here. So right here I have add widget. And in this case, we're going to look for something like uh, the hardware compatibility. I can select it and I can click on add widget. And in just a few quick clicks, I've now created my own customizable dashboard or I can move this into dashboard one, whatever I'd like to use. Now what's also nice is up here at the top, I have a list of all the different alarms or errors that are going across my entire environment. I no longer have to log into multiple fabrics or grab information from other pieces or wait for somebody to give me a phone call. I can click on this piece and I can see all the different alarms and then I can also select view all. It's gonna give me all the different pieces that are having are the alarms or issues that are going across my environment and I can export that to a CSV or do any of those other different pieces that I may need to. Now drilling down here over to the servers, I have a list of all the different fabric interconnects. I have a list of all my C-series, my Hyperflex instances. They're all available right here and I've got a great search feature. So I can search for servers by their name, their CPU, their firmware. And in this case, I'm gonna select HX clusters. And from here, I can select any of the Hyperflex instances that I have within my environment. So I'll select this bottom one. Now drilling down, we quickly see all the different nodes that make up this Hyperflex instance. And I can see I've got healthy or maybe not healthy, but what's nice is if I do have issues, I can click on this link over here and I can launch a KVM session directly to that C-series. I can even open up a TAC case. What a lot of our customers are doing is they're opening up TAC cases directly through Intersight. Because not only is it easy, Intersight also uploads the appropriate logs to the TAC case so that you can reach out to the engineer and hit the ground running instead of him requesting files to upload, which is slowing down the process to get to remediation. So some people may do this as a CEF3 and then call into TAC and upgrade that case that they just opened from within Intersight to a CEF2 to automatically speak with an engineer. We can also drill down into uh, the servers themselves. So here I can click on the node and I can see some really great information. Green is good. If someone is coming out to swap out a disk or replace a module or a component within the server, I can now click on a locator LED so they don't swap out the wrong piece or give yourself a really bad day. But what's nice is I can also look at different types of views. So here we have the front view and I can mouse over and see the disk and get some information. But I can also look at what's going on from the back end. So we see our different fans, we see our green lights, we see the MLOM, and then I can look inside the server itself to see all the different sockets and memory and see what's happening with them. We have an inventory list here that allows me to drill down and look at all the different components that make up the server itself. So I can click on a DIM and grab things such as serial numbers, locations, uh, see if something's faulty or wrong with it, and immediately begin troubleshooting. And all of this is great content to use whenever you see fit. And we still have this great action field up here where if I need to, I can open up a TAC case or do things directly from within Intersight, almost wherever I'm at with just a couple clicks. So here, we've seen the ability of how we can create different dashboards and customize them to something that makes sense for us. 
we have a complete view of all of our different UCS compute across our entire organization and can easily begin troubleshooting in the event of an issue. And we also found that within just a few clicks, I can always uh, reach out to tech and begin troubleshooting whatever problems may arise quickly and easily. And that's the power of Intersight. Thanks so much for your time.